Go on, go on, go on. I can't, I don't want to put it down. Look at it. First brain this year. Oh, no, no, South Pike, you've ever seen in your life. Right then, guys, so another adventure today. You know, I get, I get a few comments every now and again saying, why don't I go and try Poolbridge Farm on the outskirts of York? I've never actually been to this place ever in my whole entire life, but today's that day. We're going to get down there. We're going to see what's happening. Should be a good day. Uh, I've read a lot of things about this place. Sounds like an absolutely great place. I've been on the website this morning, you know what I mean? They say good things on there. So yeah, it should be a good day. So let's get down there, see what we're doing. Let's go. I never make promises. Cause I don't keep them I never make promises Cause I don't keep them Right then guys, so we're down here at Pullbridge Farm. Literally absolutely beautiful place. This is a really manicured sort of lake, it's absolutely great. It was seven pounds for the day, absolute bargain. We've never been here before. We almost came here last year for a day, uh, but we ended up going to a place called Oakmere instead. Uh, absolutely great for rudding things in there, you know what I mean? But yeah, we're, we're at um, Pullbridge Farm today. We're fishing the Horseshoe Lake, which has got some um, absolutely massive fish in here. It's got up to 20 pound carp, absolutely beautiful fish right there. So yeah, we're hoping we can catch one of those today. Should be an absolutely great day, man. So yeah, guys, if you're new around here, my name's Adam. We go fishing all the time. We upload every three days, sometimes more than that. So why not go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit that little notification button and you'll know every time we upload an episode. Let's go do some fishing. It's going to be a good day. Feel her. Feel her. away. Decent one. Oh, it's devoured that hook. Spawning. Nice fish. Keep going. It's a uh, skimmer city. Took a big old lump of pace, that. Here we are. Spat hook. Really? Fish. I'm one of them big cat man. Uh, don't turn up. <laughs> you got a fish yet? Oh, you haven't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's sort of important with like as many fish are there sort of thing it's kind of important to make sure depth's bang on because if, if it's over they'll pick it up and you won't even see an indication on float I don't know, it's worth just um, putting your bomb back on every now and again and just making sure for peace of mind. That's all I do. You plummet. Oh, 
Sounds like a better fish. That time of day to go down margins. It's getting that time of day now. Yeah man, first one yet, first one today, a few pounds, nice to see it, to see you nice, as it'll come out, as it, oh. lively. Definitely lively. We'll throw you back, we'll throw you back. Good to see you. There you go. One nil. <laughs> Got you then. Oh man, it's an al almost an actual bream. Decent fish, that. What best bream I've caught this year. It's one thing I've been lacking this year, man. Yeah. In its mouth. Cut that. Oh, decent fish. Decent fish. You know the size of bream by whether you can pick it up round back of its head. If you can't pick it up, it's over five pound. If you can't do that, it's over five pound. Beautiful fish. Pissed. Three pound, 12 ounces. I'm guessing. Nice. <laughs> Dropped it down there for a second little cruising. Second one I've had this year. What? Cruising. Little Bobby cruising. It's like Quarter at size that one I caught at Rawcliffe. Babby cruising. That was barely even hooked. <laughs> Babby. Fresh, that'll be one of them ones that was fresh in this winter. Yeah. You are? Was he? Yeah. Oh. You might have to tie a bit of line through. Um, another decent bream, eh? You might have to tie a bit of line through all I've made in it and then tie it on the hook. Decent bream. That's all I've really caught today is bream. Skimmers. Some pace don't go. You are? T shirt. I know, mate. I go, I'm as white as t shirt underneath it. I'm a decent one, that. Oh, it's not as big as the first one, though. Crack on. You got some ground belt on go, you're probably a bag on these, Breen. Seems like there's loads of them in here. Beautiful fish. I think it's. 
It's almost my favourite fish bream. Only river bream though. Don't like pond bream. Bream city man, full of bream in here. Absolute full of them. Yeah. Uh, they're taking big lumps of paste as well. As soon as it hit bottom, feels like one of them cruisions. A wild skimmer, what is it? Oh, it's a cruisian. Yeah. <laughs> How old was she? <laughs> like she like skipped off, like opt off, didn't she? Yeah. Funny that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sort of the same. Yeah, you got to be a certain type of person to find me hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Parental. <laughs> Parental. <laughs> um. Parental guidance advised. This is where they all are. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is where all the carp are. Oh man, we should have come over here. <laughs> fish right there. Oh man. Might have a wander around here with Paul. <laughs> so yeah we just decided to come for a little wander man and there are some big fish lingering around here. It's not where we're fishing though. Big fish, big fish. I might go stalk one.
Not hungry. Not hungry, man. Oh, got a giant fish on here. Finally. Decent fish, I think. Well, best fish we've had all day, anyway. Got a good eight pound line on here, man. She ain't going anywhere. <laughs> That's a decent fish, that. They're bigger than they look. Come on. You're ready, aren't you? Yeah. Straight off top. Straight off top, yeah. It turned round and just jumped straight on it. Feels like a nice little lump. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it must be. What? Oh, nearly ten pound. What's that? Seven or eight pound? Seven pound yeah. yeah. Beautiful fish. Can't go wrong. Beautiful, straight off top. Swimming by it, man. Muggled another one, haven't we? Didn't even realise he was up, did he? You need to come over here, you. There's like 50 fish in front of me. Come on, big lad. Mm. 
What a beautiful fish. I love fishing this technique, me. Oh, he's tearing, he's tearing off. He's tearing off. Keep that pole down. Yeah, we had a nice deer bagging them um, skimmers this morning, and this is what it's turned into. I'm crazy for a few carp. Oh, don't tear off again. He's going again. He's going again. I'm gonna lose it. Come back. Come back. Come on, big lad. You're ready, aren't you? You little lump. again come on get your head in come on there you go there you go Have that. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Decent fish. Guys, we're all done down here now. We've had an absolutely great day down here. So Pool Bridge Farm. Uh, this place used to be called Fletcher's if I'm right. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, we've had loads of bream today, loads of skimmers on the Horseshoe Lake. Can't go wrong. We stocked those couple of carp at the end there just so we could actually catch a couple of uh, decent fish. You know what I mean? It has been a really, really hot day. So those fish, those carp, haven't been on the bottom. You know what I mean? So we so say we end up catching those couple of nice fish at the end there. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.